Okay, let's do a, a lightning round review of the trades that were caught by the 500k out of the money call stock only filter we created in the flow feed filtering part one how to guide that we walked through a, a few weeks ago. It's Friday, October 25th at 8.20 a.m. Chicago time. So the market is going to open in about 10 minutes, which is a good lightning round time limit for me. And the reason I like to look at these in the morning before the cash session opens is because the open interest will have updated and that will give me some insight into whether or not these trades persisted overnight or if it was a if it was a round trip. So let's waste no time. I'm going to go to flow feed and immediately what I want to do is I want to click on filter and pick out my saved 500k OTM calls stock only filter. Now the first one I want to take a look at is this Tesla 320 call for April 2025. The way I like to review these is first by clicking on the contract expiration date if it's not a multi-leg trade. This is not a multi-leg trade. Okay, I've got some I got some activity here, but I'm going to skip that for now and and immediately jump down to the volume and the open interest. So yesterday, 2,100 plus contracts traded and more than 2,000 of those contracts stuck around in open interest. And so that tells me that, hey, this position persisted. This might be interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to take a quick look. The first trades were taking place at $13 and well $13.10, $13.25. They were all executing right at the ask. And so that seems like pretty urgent buying behavior. I check out this next bar and oh wow. Okay. So the price has increased pretty significantly and it's only a few minutes later, but the price is now up to $15 and I see bigger and bigger clips going off right at 15 bucks. So 315, 15, 20. So this Again, looks like pretty urgent, pretty urgent buying. Now, this last one that I want to take a look at, this shows, what is that, 600? Okay, so 1,000 a a thousand contracts went off, and this, and this is where I'm going to apply a little bit of interpretation. So we can see in the first 15 to 20 minutes of the session after Tesla's earnings call last night, that the price of these April 320 calls increased from $13.25 to well above $16, okay? The first few batches of trades all went off right on the offer. That's what I interpret as aggressive buying behavior when trades are occurring in these little batches and they're going off at the ask. So my, my guess, my best interpretation is to say that those were buys. And so as time was elapsing, you'll recall that the price of this contract was increasing quite a bit. And I'm willing to bet I can click on Tesla to go to the overview page and then select charting. And let me change this down to one minute. I'm assuming that if I go to this one minute chart and I look at yesterday's open, that price was moving up pretty aggressively. Okay, yes, it was. From 244 all the way up to 249. Okay, so multiple percentage moves here right away in these first, in the first 15 minutes of the day. And that explains the rapid movement in the contract pricing. And so I'm making a judgment call here, but even though these contracts were traded at the at the bid at that time my assumption is that this was a, a desk an institution somewhere that was trying to get approximately 2000 of these april tesla 320 calls onto their book and they they managed to fill the last 1000 at about 16 dollars again this is an assumption i can't say for sure but my assumption is that this was, this was buying behavior. This was a, a single buyer who picked up these contracts and who is holding them on their book. And so I want to keep track of this one. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and add it to watch list. And I'm going to add it right here to contracts. And because I have this, I have contracts and I have bookmarks. It's a admittedly not a perfect system, but I tend to take a look at these and, and this particular, this particular contract, I want to make sure that I, I check on it as time goes on because it's a, a long dated bet and it's pretty far out of the money. Okay, so I'm going to close my contract summary, move on to the next trade. Instead of clicking on the expiration date first, though, I can see that this was a multi-leg trade, and so I'm going to click on the multi-leg first. Now, as a personal rule, if the multi-leg trade looks complex, if it's calendarized, if the bid-ask spreads are really wide, I'm going to probably put that trade to the side and consider and just just consider it like extra credit for the day i'm i'm not gonna do any research into that because it'd be too hard to try and suss out what's really happening this one is very clear the 225 call traded at the bid the 250 call traded at the ask this would appear to be a a desk an institution selling the 225 250 call spread in coin for november 1st and so I want to look, just pick one contract and make sure, yep, the volume stuck around into open interest. Okay, so open interest is up by more than 10,000. So it looks like there was some follow on activity on this particular contract here. And these are, this is really short dated. And so I'm going to, I'm going to close. I want to take a quick look at that, at that chart again, just to get an idea. I'm going to change it. Instead of being one minute, I'm going to look at one day. And it was the 225, 250 call spread by November 1st. Okay. So essentially, if, if volatility declines and if price does not move up very fast, then selling this strike right here, this 225, and buying this, this 250 might wind up being an, an interesting trade. So someone it would appear to be fading the move here in crypto. Okay, next one, moving right along. We got another multi-leg trade. Okay, this one, I'm casting this one to the side. You know how wide the bid-ass spreads were. Really tough to say anything for sure. I'm, I'm skipping that one. Now I've got a Reddit $83 call for... The November monthly OPEX come down, check that my open interest did jump up. It did. That's great. And so this trader put these trades on. They were all going off at the ask at the beginning of, of the transaction. This is this is cool. This is a this is a pretty aggressive bet on Reddit price jumping up by more, let's say, because you don't know for sure if someone wants to hold this to expiration, but essentially. There's no buts about it. This is a this is a bullish bet. And finally, I'm going to take a look here at Baba. So I click on my contract. Oh, okay. This is I'm so what a serendipitous occurrence here. Okay. So I can see just visually from this wonderful bar chart that these two look kind of symmetric. I come down, I look at my volume and open interest and look at that. 9,653 contracts traded, but the, the open interest today is only 2,700. This looks like it was a round trip. The, the trader, desk, what have you, was probably buying here. I'm assuming that they were buying these $99 calls for the week after the monthly November expiration. And then by the end of the day, this, this desk institution, what have you, has changed their view has maybe adjusted their position or is doing something else somewhere, but the majority of these contracts then hit the bid and they didn't carry over into open interest. So it's pretty safe to assume that this trader closed these for a, a one day kind of round trip trade. And so even though that's interesting, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not watching that. I want to see persistent trades. That's what I view as interesting to me. And finally, Met C. Okay, this this set of trades right here, 
Both of these are marked as canceled. When I see a red line through it, I know that it was canceled, reversed. I, I don't know exactly what technical reason caused the ca caused this or what the underlying change was, but I know that these were canceled and that I don't need to spend any time looking at them. So the market has now opened, so I didn't perfectly achieve that 10 minute target. And hopefully you're able to review the results of this filter quickly and perhaps find one to two interesting transactions per day or per every couple days.